Uh, Games of Thrones, guys? Did you see? Yeah! All right. There is uh, sex between cousins. <laughs> the end of the episode. And <laughs> you know what I like? I like that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem wrong to you because all the seasons, there is uh, sex between uh, brother and sister. And all of a sudden, cousin, you say, yeah, it's cousin, it makes sense. <laughs> I still text my cousins, you know, <laughs> while I'm watching that. Oshrat, how are you? Come to do a center with us in Rosh Hashanah. Israeli stand-up in English. Funny Monday. People from England, there's people from England here. Hi, honey, what's your name? Shuli. Shuli, wow, it's a nice name. Uh, Shuli, it means something? No, you see, nothing. In Israel, every name's got a meaning. What's your name? Mike. Mike. <laughs> what's, talk about the queen. The queen, I, she always waves. She doesn't do anything, just wave like this, okay? That's her move, you know? And she chose a good move because since she's young, she's doing like this and she knew that she's gonna stay forever. Just imagine if she were, when she was young, she created a move like this. Hundred years old. Uh, all the, you know, man, I think that she's dead and only some, somebody put, moved the hand. I, I'm actually half Ashkenazi and half Asian. I, I'm really, really good at math. Uh, I'm not doing so good in the whole penis department. Like, I'll just tell you just straight up. Like, I, I don't know. I have problems like sending dick pics, okay? I can't send dick pics. I'm, I, I'm a little, you know... Every girl I send a dick pic to ends up getting arrested for having child pornography on their phones. You know what I mean? When I walk around Yafo, sometimes I see uh, women, you know, they wear the burqa all white or all black. And like, this isn't meant to be racist or anything like that. It's just a business idea, okay? There's a lot of space there for advertisements. You know what I mean? You put something for like 10 beasts or like Coca-Cola, something like that. You know what I mean? I'm happy with my life because I, I start to get on shape and I start to get my, myself uh, together, you know? Yeah, fuck her. I don't need her. She can go if she wants. I downgrade myself in the relationship. When you by yourself, you become, uh, you collect yourself. Because I, I change my look against my will. Because I'm 34. No one uh, warning you in the age of 34. You know, it's in overnight you change. I got bald and I gained weight in one night, guys. You hot, 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 and one day you wake up, boom, a friend's father, all of a sudden. I'm a single dad, no kids, just me. Because my grandma, she has a number on her hand. She was in the Holocaust, really, she has a number. And I decided that, that I will fuck as much German girls that she has in her number. And it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a long number. So now it's like 13,000, something like this. And I have two now. No, I need a woman that she's 50 and above, 50. First of all, when you date a girl that she's 20, she wants to do stuff. Let's go to the Clara, let's go out, let's have fun. When you date a girl that she's 30, she wants to be a mom. Let's get married, let's have baby, let's have fun. When you date a girl that she's 30, I want to revenge my ex-husband. I'm gonna date Shaha Hassan, it's gonna be fun. When you date a girl that she's 50, just, just let's have fun. Just fuck me. You wanna go out? You're gonna go out inside of me. Let's, let's hang out inside of me. Just fuck me. Until when? Then I'm gonna be 60. Fuck me. Fuck the girls that they're 50. They just wanna have fun. You know, that's what I love. And a girl that she's 30, you can date her because she wants to be a mom. The nature wants her to be a mother, you know? She walks on the street and her body, like a vacuum cleaner, try to collect sperm. <laughs> it's crazy. She wants to be a mom. I had a girlfriend, she was 32. Every time I came inside her body, my sperm didn't swim. Her egg chased after my sperm <laughs> like Pac-Man. <laughs> I saw my sperm running out of her vagina like this. I just commit suicide, jump into the toilet. We need to flash! Go to flash the water! You know? When you date a girl that she's 30, you need to watch your sperm. Watch your sperm. Watch your sperm. If you come on her back, clean it. Don't leave her with your sperm because she can take two inside. When you come on her stomach, clean it because she can hide two sperm in the belly button. Okay? 
When you come in her mouth, tell her, I want to hear you swallow. I want to hear you swallow. La, la. Okay? Yes. Yes, girls. We need, we need to watch our sperm. Okay? Watch. Because I had a girlfriend. She was 32. And something happened. We had sex. We, we just date like a month. That's it. We had sex. And she said, I'm protected and stuff. And after uh, two months, she said, it's late. I said, who's late? She said, my period. I said, oh, my God. Oh, oh my, oh, oh, my God. Oh my, so I went to the pharmacy to buy the pregnancy test, you know? In Hebrew, we said Maklona Kesem, the magic stick. <laughs> you know why it's called magic stick? Because the minute she find that she find out she's pregnant, she's gonna disappear your freedom. <laughs> you know? So she went into the toilet to pee on it, and I was waiting outside. I said, God, please give me one line. I just need one line, you know, one line. It's good, there's a window, one line. Because two lines inside the window, it's the beginning of J. No! <laughs> 